oh, 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 If this one pulls me over, I'm in real trouble. I was nearly tipping forward over that edge there, just kind of a little bit. <sighs> My groin is starting to ache. Yeah. That rod's jammed in. This is physical stuff. Physical work. It's coming up. Strong fish. But I think it's, yeah, it's tiring. Tiring, tiring. There it is. There's the fish. Hey. Good grief, my crutch is killing me. And there it is. But does it weigh more than 150 pounds? For the measure of the beast, that is seven foot one, two, three, four, seven foot four inches. And then you open the mouth. You can actually hear the echo coming out of the mouth there. Uh, hello, hello. Um, and I can see its gullet opening and closing. I, if I was so inclined, I could put my fist down there quite easily. That is an eating machine. The whole thing is nearly eight foot of just solid rippling muscle. If that grabbed hold of your leg, that's an unpleasant enough thought, but if that decided not to let go and you were swimming, you'd be history. I'm about 175 pounds on a good day or a bad day, depending on how you look at it. Um, this fish could be more than that. 74 kilos, that's about 163 pounds. Not quite as big and fat and ugly as I am. What I find really hard to credit is that I was, I was doing those experiments where I was trying to see how much force I could exert in the water and there was somebody on the bank with a spring balance just hooked around their finger, reading off, okay, 30 or 40 pounds. This thing, in the water was almost pulling me off the bank. I was having to dig in and really act like I was in, in, in a tug of war. How something with nothing solid to actually grab hold of can exert that force in the water, um, you know, I find quite mind-boggling. It, it is very, very impressive indeed.